Here's a simplified diagram of a hydraulic brake system and this is similar to the brake system you would have in a typical car. This is a side view and this is the brake pedal over here on the left side. So when you stomp on the brakes you're exerting a force here with your foot. This end right here this is a metal rod right here and this end of it up at the top is fastened in place so that's like a hinge right there and this can can pivot around that around that hinge so when you stomp on the brakes a force is exerted on this piston right here and it's pushed in in this direction and this is a cylinder right here this is just a cross section of a cylinder and it's, it's called the master cylinder it's part of the braking system. And inside there is the brake fluid. And I'll color it in in red here. This is a fluid inside the cylinder. And it really is red in most cases. And it runs through this tube right here. This is an inflexible tube. It's bent all around, but it's not. It bends around and travels over here to the tires, but it's not elastic. So it doesn't stretch. When you stomp on the brakes, the tube doesn't expand any. But what happens when you press on the brakes, that applies pressure through this piston right here to the brake fluid in the master cylinder. And because Pascal's law tells us that the, the additional pressure is transmitted equally to all parts of the fluid all through the brake lines and down in here in this mechanism the pressure in the fluid increases. Now over here these are two tiny little pistons here and the fluid here under higher pressure pushes them out so there's an outward force here on those pistons and they push on these little pieces right here and those are the brake pads. And this is the wheel right here. And this whole mechanism is inside the wheel. And the brake pads push against the inner wall of the tire. And friction causes the tire to slow down. If you take your foot off the brakes, the pressure in the brake fluid decreases and some springs usually pull these brake pads back in away from the tire so they're not making contact, not exerting any, any frictional force to cause the tires to stop. But when you stomp that brake pedal, the force over here on the master cylinder is transmitted through the fluid and it pushes those brake pads out and then friction causes the tire to slow down. Now in most modern cars they have what's called power brakes and your foot doesn't directly engage the fluid inside the master cylinder like this. Your, your foot hits the brake pedal and that sends a signal to a machine to increase the pressure on the, on the, on the master cylinder. But the same principle is at work here with Pascal's law in that the, the force is transmitted through the fluid to the tires. And in reality it's more complicated than this. The, the brake lines branch out and go to all four tires. Cars typically have brakes on all four wheels. But this simplified diagram shows the main parts and shows the principle in action of a force being transmitted through a fluid.